Good afternoon, friends. How are you all doing? Uh, so, dear, I start uh, by one o'clock. I keep a time of one o'clock, but I start the session at one ten so that few students who have the school and all uh, till one o'clock can join us. So that is the reason. So I am here. Shubham very uh, rightly mentioned that yes, I I just go keep on going through your chats. So I am there, right? But I do start late. All right. Anyways, uh, let's uh, start with uh, today's session, right? Uh, logical inequalities. But friends, before I start today's topic, there is something I want to share with you people. I fine. So I I just want to uh, share something with you people that uh, many of you uh, you know uh, go through uh, my sessions or like pro talents, you know the video sessions and all. uh if possible right if possible uh, make it a point that even you take our course as well the reason is that the way we design our session okay for example if you if those who have been very regular since last 10 days can see that how systematically uh, i'm taking the session of logical reasoning right topic wise introducing the topic then concept problems but friends if you just watch the sessions and if you don't have the material in the in the right order right in the and in the right quantity then just viewing the videos is going to be of no help okay i i, I very rarely say that you like my videos or you subscribe this channel and all you are already here you are here if you are enjoying the session then only you would be here so uh, the point is that especially those who do not have material and just keep on because you know the only reason why i am saying this thing is that many a times we waste lot of time you know in googling uh, you know in searching uh, the content then downloading the pdf this that a lot of time of ours gets wasted so if you have a right set of material right and you have a right kind of mentor you can put more effort more time in solving and practicing and reaching your goal rather than you just keep on doing somehow you are finishing it but not getting the result okay so this is a request to all of you those who do not have a proper set of material right in case you are having it very good in case you are not having it you must have a complete set of material for practicing it fine anyways let's now continue uh today's topic as you can see that we are going to take the logical inequalities fine and uh, dear friends uh, no chat now over here right are we all ready uh, are we all ready with the paper and pen lot of writing have to be done on your side today say yes or no Yes, yeah, Shubham. Actually, I believe in this uh, philosophy of if you are liking it, I don't have to say automatic. And I, I have seen that that many students, though in every session I don't mention it, like करो, subscribe करो, share करो. But जिन्हें अच्छा लग रहा है वो anyways वो कर ही रहे हैं. So very rightly said. चलिए. So ready? Okay. so today's topic as you can see is logical inequalities uh logical inequalities is you know uh many many students now now this is one topic you know where uh, it is not the concept but you know it is uh, about uh, the comfort level of uh, personally of yours for example let me share a very small example with you people you know when uh, the questions are there uh, say uh, of uh, data arrangement okay so purely agar data arrangement is there on five people going to five different visiting five different cities working in five different offices and working in uh, five different arenas and you know making a chart and arranging it many of you can do it ha can handle it very nicely but instead of that the, the question is on data arrangement but see if it is on uh, a game called cricket or a badminton right and then there are two you know the groups are there then the inter you know competition is there the the one who wins moves ahead then the, there would be the rules given for scoring and all believe me and you ha you just uh, share your response as well ki jab aap aise questions you come across right let it be with badminton the scoring points or the cricket and all right if you really love that game right you will be doing it in a one go otherwise you will skip 
because mentally you are not in a position to connect yourself with that set how many of you agree with what i am saying say yes or no i am waiting for your response that mentally you your comfort with that topic how important it is do you agree with this statement yes i am waiting for your response right oh yes so see mental comfort na mental uh, connection uh, with that topic see some topics can be learned okay some topics can always be learned jaise syllogism tha maine jab syllogism padhaya right so i i told ki these are the points right and you you are not looking here and there and uh, you just keep on practicing kahi pe bhi if you are missing the point you come back you know to that video you go through the point and again you are solving it right so okay here wo comfort level wali baat nahi hai right aapko aap rules pata hai aapko approach pata hai you can crack it बट देर आर सर्टन टॉपिक जैसे कि मैंने ये डेटा अरेंजमेंट बताया राइट कि आपका मेंटल कनेक्शन जो है मेंटल कंफर्ट जो है वो बाकी टेक्निकली वो इतना कोई डिफिकल्ट नहीं होता है सो लॉजिकल इन क्वालिटीज इज वन ऑफ दोज टॉपिक्स सो टूडे वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम सिंपली एज यूजल राइट आई एल बी जस्ट स्पेंडिंग द टाइम ऑन डेवलपिंग दैट कंसेप्ट एंड द अप्रोच टूवर्ड्स एट ऑल राइट फाइन ओके सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट Fine. Logical inequalities may right. You you know that A is. I mean the relations will be given. For example, right. Ah, uh, this is what is how a uh, you know a relation is given. A is greater than equal to B. B is A is greater than equal to B. B is less than C. C is equal to D. D is greater than E. And E is less than equal to F. First of all, take a second and just try to read yourself. कि आर इन ए पोजिशन वो ग्रेटर देन लेस देन के सिंबल्स याद है ना कैसे पढ़ा जाता है बिकॉज होता क्या है व्हेन वी आर रीडिंग हम कनेक्ट नहीं कर रहे वी आर मैकेनिकली रीडिंग इट आपको यहाँ पे अंडर यू नो आपको विजुलाइज करना है ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी बी इज लेस देन सी ओके सो टेक अ टाइम एंड जस्ट रीड इट सी मैंने ये एक तरीका पूछा सो देर कैन बी यू नो ऑल द वेरिएबल्स कैन बी इन अ सिंगल रिलेशन आई मीन इन इक्वेशन और अ रिलेशन आई कैन से I should know, right? Or it can be in uh, small, small parts as well. For example, ये जो मैंने second वाला part दिया है, right? It can be in small, small sequences or small sequences दिया हुआ है, and then we have to connect it. Okay? Fine. All right. So other stuff, uh, introduction and uh, you know has been done. It would I would appreciate that you just focus on the class. Okay? right fine okay so as i said it can be in a single sequence okay or it can be in parts fine hame isme when the questions are given on such topic what we have to do is we should be in a position to relate it we should be in a position either to express all in ascending order or all in descending order then only i can establish the relation ओके okay? क्योंकि कहीं पे ग्रेटर है कहीं पे लेस है ओके okay? तो मैं डायरेक्टली रिलेशंस नहीं सो वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग व्हाट आई विल बी डूइंग इज दैट इधर आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्रेस द एंटायर सीक्वेंस इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर और द एंटायर सीक्वेंस इन द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो दैट आई कैन एस्टेब्लिश द रिलेशन करेक्ट फाइन ऑल सो लेट्स मूव फर्दर सो नाउ दिस इज एन एक्सरसाइज राइट द सीक्वेंस इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर यहाँ पे आपको सीक्वेंस तोड़ना भी पड़ सकता है एंटायर सीक्वेंस यू मे नॉट बी इन अ पोजिशन टू राइट इट सो फॉर्म अ सब सीक्वेंस जहाँ पे भी सीक्वेंस टूटा है सब सीक्वेंस बनाओ बट ट्राई टू राइट द सीक्वेंस इन द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर राइट ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज राइट इन योर नोटबुक वेरी गुड अंकुर एंड स्वास्थ्य स्वाति स्वाति पाठक ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज राइट इट इन योर नोटबुक ऑल द पॉसिबल राइट द सीक्वेंस सो यू हैव टू राइट इन द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ओके सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी बिग टू स्मॉल फाइन So 
if you are if you people are done just uh, give the just raise the thumb because this is very important this is the first and very important step you should be in a position to write in an ascending or descending order very good rashi and then you are going to check the you are also going to inform me about whether it was accurate or not okay fine all right now let's see so this was the answer uh, because of my handwriting okay so i have today i have i, I will be writing as minimum as possible so that uh, why abhishek down all right fine so this is uh, this is how the sequence should have been okay fine so see a is greater than b but then b is less than c so how it is going c is equal to d and since b is less than c and we were writing in a you know a descending order so jo bada wala part hai should have been on the left side and the smaller part on the right side so what i did c is equal to d and this entire expression is greater than b okay then we can see that d is greater than e and f is greater than equal to e perfectly fine okay right see i wanted that so descending or ascending order means that you should be in a position to express the entire sequence right in one in equality you take it uh, greater one to jaise greater mein karo less than hai to less than mein karo ab maine yahan pe greater than mein kiya so i try to to ab it is not necessary ki pura ki pura sequence wo ulta ho jayega ओके बिकॉज यहाँ पे ही अगर बीच में कहीं पे भी इनक्वालिटीज चेंज हो रही हैं रिलेशन इंटरचेंज हो रहा है तो ऑब्वियसली वहां से वो सीक्वेंस टूटेगा एंड अ सब सीक्वेंस वुड बी फॉर्म सो दिस इज हाउ आई हैव ट्राइड टू रिटर्न बट देन दिस इज अ वेरी क्रूशल स्टेप जब भी आपको इन में दिया हुआ है यू शुड बी इन अ पोजिशन टू रिप्रेजेंटेड इन दिस फॉर्म ओके फाइन for uh, the rest of the people uh, similar one more exercise now in ascending order and uh, rashi you were the first to share so just share with me whether your uh, this thing was correct or not oh yes if f is greater than uh, f is greater than e that is wrong dear f is greater than or equal to e if you write just greater than e this would be wrong okay beta otherwise fine subsequence mein which subsequence you are writing first and which subsequence you are writing second ideally you should because here it was a b c d e f if you write it in that form na it will be easy for you to answer the questions based on that easily but even if you not have maintained the sequence it is okay थानिया योर दिस कंसर्न इज वेरी जेनविन के मैम आपके सामने आंसर तो सही आते हैं द रीजन इज बिकॉज हियर यू आर ए मेंटली इन दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग मोड ओके सो इफ यू नो द कंसेप्ट अर्लियर यू आर जस्ट फोकसिंग यू नो ऑन हाउ टू राइट इट करेक्टली बट फ्रेंड्स वेन इट कम डाउन टू टेस्ट ओके सो ओवर देर 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 दिस यू नो यू हैव दिस प्रेशर प्रेशर ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस एंड हियर द एंटायर गेम चेंजेस so those questions which you could very easily manage while practicing it may not be when you are giving a test and hence to my students i always tell i always tell even if you are doing a single question even if you are doing a single question make it a point that for the first time you do it with a timer yes friends even if you are doing hum hum aisa nahi karte actually no problem wahi pe hota hai isliye maine aapko initially material ki baat kari द रीजन क्या है कि वेन वी आर सॉल्विंग एट राइट तो हम बहुत आराम से कर रहे हैं और जब टेस्ट हम दे रहे हैं तो हमें तो वो स्पीड में देना है राइट right? फटाफट पढ़ना है फटाफट लिखना है सो बेटर है दैट वाइल प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑल्सो यूज यू नो 
train your mind that you have to perform within time so challenge is not of solving the question the challenge is solving the question within time frame are you getting the point once you start doing it in this way believe me your performance will improve a lot but generally it doesn't happen so because jab hum practice kar rahe hote hain bahut aaram aaram se kar rahe hote hain aur jab hum test mode mein jaate hain to because of speed ya hum pure questions nahi dekh pate ya wo galat ho jate hain okay fine all right so now let's see you most of you are ready with the answers okay so now it was in ascending order so from big right so this is going to become smaller to bigger hai na ascending is going to be smaller to bigger so b is right so from here i can see that b is less than equal to a b is already less than equal to c less than equal to d to jahan tak ho sakta hai hum sequence ko hum nahi tod rahe okay so you can see that ek sequence yahan pe ban raha hai ek sequence jo hai yahan pe ban raha hai right and here again the sign is getting interchange so from here again i am making it another one e is less than d and e is less than or equal to f clear fine good very good fine so yahan tak hum clear hai ki hame se kaise अरेंज करना है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है यहां तक राइट ऑल राइट फाइन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके इज द क्वेश्चन वेरी क्लियर राइट द पेयर वेट द रिलेशन इज डेफिनेटली नोन इट शुड यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर कि ये इट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू ओनली और इट विल बी स्ट्रिक्टली ग्रेटर देन और इट विल बी स्ट्रिक्टली लेस देन और इट इज गोइंग टू बी स्ट्रिक्टली यू नो इक्वल टू राइट ऑल द पॉसिबल पेयर्स येस यशेश्वर सिंह टूडे वी आर जस्ट डीलिंग ऑन द कंसेप्ट एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली फाइंड इट ईजी एंड वेन विल बी डूइंग द क्वेश्चन आई विल बी वेटिंग फॉर योर फीडबैक फ्रेंड्स आई ऑलवेज टेल प्लीज डोंट आस्क मै दिस क्वेश्चन ये आईलेट में आएगा ये क्लैट में आएगा ये महाराष्ट्र सिटी में आएगा वेन यू आर रीडिंग इट यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग इट प्रिपेयर इट कैन बी आस्ड इन एनी फॉर्म और राइट नो वरीज कैचअप अरहंत Devraj don't worry today i'm not going to solve the questions i'm just going to install inculcate you know this the way of writing it is very important hum wo fatafat pad lete hain aur hame lagta hai seedha problem solving pe jao aaj hum seedha problem solving nahi karne wale hain chaliye so i've started getting the thumbs up very good so you have written all the possible pairs ha huh? one or two will not do So say for example a is strictly greater than equal to b can i establish the relation between a and c no can i between c b and d yes so since write the pair where the relation diff so you are supposed to write all ha huh? aapka yes ya yeah, done tabhi acceptable hai if you have written all the possible pairs okay if you have written few of it then it will not be accepted okay fine so let's see so all the possible pairs where the definition uh, or the relation could definitely be known were 1 2 3 4 5 so how many of you of you got all the five correct all the five all five very good yeah akshit can ask the doubt if i have missed it then again chat me likh do very good okay so these were the relations because here you know what will happen that uh, it is very much important that you can you should be in a position to establish the relations because it will go as a tie, as you know the conclusions कि दिस कैन बी वन कंक्लूजन दिस कैन बी अनदर कंक्लूजन सो ये कंक्लूजन एक्सेप्टेबल है या नहीं 
right d equal to c oh yes right fine next set yes ma riddhi it will be c is greater than e next set and then there will be in fact 7 because c equal to d and c is greater than e right these two i didn't mention so there will be two yes ankur and rashi yes that has to be included so now right to the move on to the next where the relation cannot be established give me the pair give me the pairs where the relation cannot be established Yashishwa, if this is a case, you do some uh, basic homework uh, because today, or you you see it once again this video, because I'm just going to discuss the concept. I'm 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 not solving the question. I'm just making you mentally comfortable with the language. Let's see. Okay. So I went alphabet wise. So can I relate the? Can I have a relation between A and C? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In total, nine relations are there. Nine. And even got online correct. So here, when the relation cannot be established, what you know? What my why I made a mistake in the previous one? I, when I was writing the answer, that is when I was preparing the slide, right? I didn't went, you know, alphabet wise. हर एक alphabet को मैंने compare करके नहीं देखा था. तो इसीलिए I missed out two. But over here you can see that मैंने हर एक A को B, C, D, E, F के साथ मैंने देख लिया whether the relation can be established or not. Okay? And this I could do it because I I had written it, you know, in ascending descending order. Me I had written in ascending order, and I could very easily, you know, relate the Uh, uh variables with each other all right so yashashwa the first step if i ask you such question the first step was writing it all the inequality is in ascending or descending order right follow just one okay just follow one and based on that you can answer these questions fine All right, fine. Uh, Rida, this is not time-consuming because uh, this is I'm just making you comfortable with the concept. Such questions will not be asked. Okay, fine. But if you are, you should be in a position. As an Yuna ji, कुछ आ रहे कुछ नहीं आ रहे तो you should be. And you don't have to write in advance all the possibilities and all. No. You don't. You just stick to what I am telling. I slowly and slowly I'll move on to the question part. Okay. Oh yes. Right. Correct. All right. When we have been given this kind of you know expression, greater than equal to. So, if you are getting a final relation, it implies that either a is greater than or a is equal to b. Okay, fine. But both cannot be true simultaneously. So, finally, if you are getting a relation, right? K b. This is what is there. Then you can't say that f is strictly uh, greater than d, right? Because if I take 
10 and 8 it is correct but then what about if both are having the values 10 then it will go wrong okay i can't say that f is equal to d even this is going to be wrong because in that case if i take it 9 and if i take it over here 7 right then in that case what so here we will be having so uh, remember that if f is greater a is greater than equal to b or any such relation you come up to where it is greater than equal to or less than equal to then conclusion mein koi ek part hum consider nahi kar sakte hai both the conclusions has to be both the parts have to be either it would be greater or equal to okay fine but both so here the answer would be either or ideally both should be the conclusion and the answer should be either or okay fine So, we will now do it a few one or two questions today, okay, on this. Let us see how we are doing it. The variety of questions we will be taking it. So, you, okay, so this is one of the variety, right, where you have been told to mark your answer as conclusions, okay, fine, one, two, three, four. So, one, so because of syllogism, you are now very comfortable with this set of instruction. What do you mean by mark your answer as one, two, three, four, five, okay, fine. Now, concentrate on this and tell me what would be the answer. You do it on your own. If you are ready with your answer, you can Shubha, my question was that uh, definitely we cannot establish the relation and CE we could establish the relation, right? That is why that option was wrong. You have to uh, give me the answer. What is the answer to this question number one? right so here it is uh, so can i say that a is equal to b less than this 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 and we have to establish the relation between a and z okay uh, so if i go with this part right so it is just going to be if if so this is going to be one set okay and u is less than equal to y so this is what is one relation i am getting then over here if everything is between less than so can i say that p is less than y is less than l which is less than or equal to z if z is greater than or equal to l can i say that l is uh, less than equal to z right and i have to establish the relation between a and z so can i go can i uh, visit this yes so here a is equal to b which is less than e which is less than equal to y and from here i can connect over here right so a is going so a is going to be uh, less than z because if i connect it then y will be strictly less than l and l is less than equal to z and friends here see a is equal to b and a is uh, and b is strictly less than e so what is the relation i am getting a is strictly less than e then since it is strictly less than equal to y okay so here i am getting a is less than equal to y but y is strictly less than l and hence ye equality wala jo case hai wo nikal jayega and the final relation would be that a is going to be strictly less than y abhi because it's strictly less than y aage ja ke we can't add a equal to it right so the answer is going to be a is strictly less so in this thing uh, we are going less than equal to and the moment 
वी कम टू स्ट्रिक्टली लेस देन वो इक्वल टू वाला जो पार्ट है वो निकल गया देन हमें स्ट्रिक्टली लेस देन वाले को ही आगे लेके फॉलो करना होगा तो ये एक पॉइंट आपको ध्यान में रखना है एंड वॉट अबाउट यू इज लेस देन इक्वल टू पी इज इट पॉसिबल नो बिकॉज हमें यू इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वाई राइट तो एंड पी इज लेस देन पी इज स्ट्रिक्टली लेस देन y so u is less than equal to y p is also less than y so i can't relate you know establish any relation between u and p it can be greater it can be equal to or it can be less than so i can't establish any relation is it clear right very good very good chaliye next question question number 2 question number 2 so we can see the way i have written it right over here m is equal to a less than so this okay now here k or mujhe m or o may i have to uh, establish the relation between m and o so for getting to o it is via e h h but h ke baad m i am not getting any connection between the two right so option conclusion one cannot be the answer is a strictly less than t a strictly less than t no we can't establish any relation over here right because this is see you can see that a and k but k further kahin pe bhi connect nahi ho raha hai so even this is not the answer is it clear so the answer is question number 2 4 very good very good fine chali let's move on to the next question question number 3 so here you can see that the previous steps which we took right we uh, you know understanding writing in ascending or descending order writing all possible pairs if you are comfortable with those steps you will be really comfortable over here in solving these questions question number 3 love has been really fast over here very good let's see c is equal to o is greater than m then p is greater than equal to m p is greater than u okay And T is greater than equal to M, which is greater than R. So, what is the relation we have to uh, establish between R and C? Okay, M. So, from here, this is a part which I am connecting it over here. So, what I am getting is C is equal to O, and which is greater than equal to and which is greater than equal to R. So, here I can see that because e greater than equal to dono me hai. so what i am getting is finally the relation is c is greater than or equal to r and we discussed right that if it is greater than equal to the either c is going to be equal to r or c is going to be greater than r or r is 
less than C. So what I am getting is over here is answer number 5. Question number 3, the answer is 5. Very good. Very good. Chale. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, so here you have to establish the relation between U and S. So here we can see that S is less than U, but here it is said. Right, so this is there. So question number 4, the answer is 1. What about y is greater than or equal to m? Can we establish the relation between y? No. Right. So, y is less than or equal to d. right so this is not there yes very correct right so friends what i'll appreciate is today you do the questions because i just introduced the topic today the basics i have done today the theory part i have covered today tomorrow we will be doing more questions on this topic so tomorrow it will be so those i mean those who are comfortable has nothing to do from my side today but those who are not uh, you know comfortable with the topic okay they they should practice some questions right because tomorrow i'll be coming with the longer you know the questions and the complicated questions so that every one of us is together and hence it is uh, it will and we all would really enjoy doing those questions so just be prepared for tomorrow's session where we'll be doing the questions on this topic okay so that's it from my side for the day Thank you very much.